anthem finale and the postseason. Now, despite the Eagles facing some adversity this season, Nick Sirianni has coached his team to one of the most successful seasons in franchise history. But one division rival thinks his job has been very easy. Giant safety Julian Love said this during an appearance on NFL Network. Quote, he's a guy who really is doing a good job because he's not getting in the way of his team. He has an experienced roster from top to bottom, offense, defense. In response to Sirianni's sideline nodding, Love said, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. He's in for a free ride right now. You guys can coach this team. Eagles defensive end Brandon Graham had this to say in response. People always got something to say when they at home. So they got some stuff to think about. A lot of people just mad because of what happened this season. I understand, but coach prove itself each and every day. And uh, if you're not in here, you really wouldn't know that. All right, we've got the NFL squad back. Bart and Herm joining Stephen A. Bart, I'm going to start with you on this one. Do you agree with Julian Love? A hundred percent. Like, listen, there's no disrespect to, to Sirianni. And listen, we all understand that this is a good job, right? And it's, it's hard because you have to consider the source. It came from Julian Love. But when you really break down the statement, he has a, a veteran, experienced team and unit, right? I think really what he's trying to say is, Harry Roseman is the cheat code. He is the best general manager in the game. He was already prepped and ready in case Jalen Hurts wasn't the guy. He had two first-round draft picks ready to be able to move up in the draft and give up what he had to give up to be able to win with his roster. This is the best roster in football. That's what makes the Super Bowl so intriguing, that they have the best roster in football, but they're going against the best player in football in Patrick Mahomes. But right now, because Jalen Hurts is a cheap quarterback, they're allowed to go shopping and fill this roster with whatever it needs. Can't stop the run? I'll go get you Linville Joseph. I'll go get you Indomitian Sue. They have two of everything. Oh, we messed up and we made a mistake by going out and drafting Jalen Rieger instead of Justin Jefferson? I'm sorry. We'll go get you A.J. Brown because we have a cheap uh, first-round draft pick in Devontae Smith. This is really equivalent, in my opinion, to the roster that John Gruden coached to a Super Bowl, which we all knew was Tony Dungy's team. The culture was already set before he got there. He has Lane Johnson. He has Travis Kelsey. He has Fletcher Cox. You know, he has the leaders there. The culture was already set. All he had to do was create a little structure. It's not the hardest job to coach, right? I would say Brian Dayball did a much better job, coaching job, because of what he had to overcome. Right now, this is all about making sure that you keep the guys focused and locked in. And that's not an easy job. But what Julian Love says was no lies. This is the best roster in football. And it's only going to get better. And this, ro and this window is going to stay open longer because they have found their quarterback of the future in Jalen Hurts. And now they can use those first-round draft picks to re replace a Fletcher Cox or Brandon Graham, who's an older quarterback that has a high – I mean, um, Defense Venn that has a high cap number. So shout out to Harry Roseman for doing a master class. The only other person I've seen do a master class like this was in Kansas City because Kansas City's been able to do this and Isaac Newsom when he was at his best. No lies to hope. Keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> oh, I, I know this part of it. Uh, I've been on both sides of it as a player, as assistant coach, and as a head coach. Uh, talent sometimes can be a curse. I'll say it again. Sometimes talent can be a curse. And I'm talking about when you have a talented team like the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, you have to have uh, the coaching mindset is like, look, I got to make sure that I massage all these Eagles, these egos, right? Because every player is an independent contractor. They're all independent contractors. And when they're stars and they're good players, they all want to build up their brands, all this stuff. But here again, you, you still have to win. And right now, they've done that. And they're in the Super Bowl. Are they supposed to win the Super Bowl? Uh, there, there, there's some odds makers that say, yeah. But, but that's the pressure of the seat you sit in as a head coach. But to say he hasn't done a good job and anybody can do it, I don't know about that. You have to have the right personality. You have to understand who your players are. Allow them to be who they are, but also with some kind of, uh, you know, structure. You got to have structure. And, and that's important. This team was picked to get to where they're at. They're there. 
A giant player obviously is making these comments. That, hey, that's good for the rivalry. I, I get all that. But at the end, this coach has done an excellent job with this football team. Now he's got to finish the deal. He's got to win the Super Bowl. First of all, a couple of things. Number one, <clears throat> let's not disrespect Nick Sirianni. Yes, he had a very embarrassing introductory press conference as head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. But there's nothing embarrassing about the job that he has done. He's been there two years. His record is 23-11. and 11. He's won 67% of his games. And in his second year as a head coach, he's in the Super Bowl. Let's give credit where credit is due. If we're going to give credit to the great ones like Phil Jackson, like Pat Riley and others because they were loaded and never messed it up, we can do the same for Nick Sirianni. He deserves that much respect. I will say that. Respect is one thing. Credit is another. And when it comes to credit, I'm going to give the credit to two people. Howie Roseman and Jeff Lurie. Let me explain. Let's rewind the clock, ladies and gentlemen. The Philadelphia Eagles had Chip Kelly as their coach. And he essentially was running football operations. Howie Roseman was in the seat. Jeffrey Lurie moved him aside to capitulate to what Chip Kelly wanted. He coached there for three years, the better part of three years, went to the playoffs the first year, missed it the second year, was wet in the bed the third year, and got dismissed. What does Jeffrey Lurie do? This is where the credit comes in. He brings Howie Roseman back. He didn't fire him. He didn't put him out of the building. He made him step back. To def How much team success did they have? And I heavily emphasize the peak because I believe that's not everything, but it's a big part of what we're talking about when we talk about the greatest. It's not just how many seasons toward the end did they add on when they were still good, but like what heights did they reach and how long did they sustain those heights? And what I'm saying, Key, is throw out the stats because – Mahomes slaughters Elway. It's not fair, but as I say, it's not fair. What? Let's I, I compare. Did, let's did, compare uh, era to era. What? Mahomes in five seasons as a starter is about to go to his third Super Bowl. Is about to win his second MVP, and we will see what happens in the Super Bowl. Already has a Super Bowl championship. Elway in 16 seasons won one MVP. Came in second once. Came in fourth once. Came in fifth once. Okay, those are all his top five MVPs finishes. Mahomes is about to win his second MVP. He's also been a top three three times already. In his first five years, Mahomes' height is higher than Elway's height, who won the Super Bowl at the end when he was still good. He was Elway. He was always good. But he wasn't the great John Elway the same way he was early in his career. He got a running back, and they won behind that, largely. Key. Oh, there so you're is, telling me the helicopter didn't mean nothing against Green Bay? I'm not. I just said he was still so because good. he got he got a running back. He got a running back that that uh, uh, helped the offense it engineer him, drives. How many years like, did it stop, take Elway man. to get to to, to two Super Bowl wins? Stop. Sixteen. And so Mahomes what? had the chance to do it in his fifth season as a so starter. God damn, and he may never win another and may and, never go to it, another. It, it's possible he doesn't. But oh, the God, concentration stop. of excellence in Mahomes' prime already surpasses the concentration of excellence in is Elway's Dan prime. Reed, is Dan Reeves Andy Reid? Is he Andy Reid? What do yeah. you mean? He's a great coach? No, is he Andy Reid as a coach? Would you consider the no, late Dan I would Reeves Andy, as a— I, I would put Andy Reid ahead of him. Okay. All right. So coaching does matter sometimes too, right? Of course. Okay, I just I'm asking you, but no one's arguing against you. Elway's greatness. Elway's just, a great I'm just quarterback. You. So if when you, you look at so, when mm -hmm. he acquired or uh, when he coached with Dan Reeves, so to speak, mm -hmm. that's a different conversation. Because Andy Reid, Andy Reid may decide to abruptly retire in two years, and then he's stuck with. Matt it's Nagy. It's possible. So we have think to see that it. play out. But don't you, You're saying I'm being I, premature in my evaluation. What I'm saying no, is... No, I am saying apples, absolutely you are being premature. To, apples to apples. We, how are they even perceived in their own era? Every single year, I bet you, Mahomes Matt, is, a, is a top MVP candidate. I just, He's leading an author. He, he, is, he is higher I just got in the a text, hierarchy I just got in his a text era from than wasn't his. I just got a text from somebody. Tom Jackson says, get this dude brain checked.
About, I, I, about Patrick Mahomes? I, I have about not, John I, Elway? I have not said a word this whole Get segment. Get this and I have dude brain enjoyed every about John of it. Get his, so, so, okay, so I Tom Jackson thinks that second way second better than Mahomes is. Tom Jackson, call into the show right now. Call into the show, Tom. Is Tom, it too TJ, early to put Mahomes TJ, in the top?